Welcome Millhouse family. I'm going to take you through this week's meal. This week we're doing a niswa salad. So it'll have green beans, potatoes, eggs, some olives, marinated onion, uh, and some tomatoes with a mustard vinaigrette. And then we're also doing some roasted potatoes with romesco sauce. You'll be cooking those a little bit at home. And they'll have a little bit of uh, Romano, grated Romano cheese over the top. Let's get started. Okay, to get started for our salad, we've got all our ingredients here ready. I'm gonna dump our greens in the bowl. This salad is more of a composed salad or the, the ingredients won't necessarily all get dressed with the dressing, at least maybe in the beginning. Um, so we will use some of the dressing for just the lettuce, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of the dressing to go over the top once we have all of the components on there. So we'll get the greens dressed. Make a nice base. We'll be putting all those other ingredients on top. Okay, so now we're going to add our other components. So we have our green beans. We're gonna add our potato. Each one of these are just going kind of in a section. You certainly can mix them all together, but this is a nice way to present the salad. And we are going to, I'm going to quarter the eggs. We'll get the eggs right here. And then we're going to just tuck, we're going to do a little bit of olive just kind of around. And we'll do our marinated onion right on top. And then we will use some of that reserved dressing to drizzle over some of the components so that they have some of that dressing as well. And there we have our niswa salad with potatoes, eggs, beans, tomatoes, a little bit of marinated onion and olive with a mustard vinaigrette. To get started with our potatoes this week, it's ideal to use a nonstick pan. If for some reason you don't have a nonstick pan, you can do it in a normal saute pan. They'll just be a little more sticking. Uh, you may need to use a little bit of extra oil and not stir it as regularly. But if you have a nonstick pan, that's the way to go. So I have this one heating up over like medium to medium high heat. We're gonna add just a little bit of oil just to kind of cover the bottom. Okay, and when you see, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but if when you move the oil around, if it starts to streak like rain does on your windshield, then you know that you're starting to get some heat in the pan, which is good. So we'll add our potatoes. These potatoes have been partially cooked or par cooked um, in water just to soften them up so that all we're doing here really is to get some crunchiness on them. These will probably take about 10 minutes. Um, we're gonna, we wanna get some nice color on them. That'll take a little bit of time. We'll add just a little bit of salt and pepper And then we're gonna, we'll check back on these in a couple minutes. We don't wanna move them or touch them or anything until we start to develop some brown on that first side. 
So the potatoes have been cooking for a few minutes now. We should start to see some color on the underside. So we're starting to see a little bit, but not as much as we want. So I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna add a little more oil that will help the heat and the pan make contact with the potato. And I'm gonna turn up the heat just a little bit. So we'll add just a touch more oil. We'll turn up the heat and we'll come back and check these in a minute. All right, the potatoes have been cooking another minute or two and we're starting to see a little more real nice brown on there. So we're gonna give them just a turn. There's still a little bit of oil in the pan but we may add just a touch more. Potatoes absorb a lot of oil when they're cooking. And we want them to be really crispy. Trying to get these as flat as they can so we get good contact. And then we'll let them go for a couple more minutes. Okay, the potatoes have been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes now. I, we flipped them the once. As you can see, that second side is getting really nice and golden. So at this point, they should more or less be ready. I may flip them one more time. You can, if you have a little more time, certainly get them a little crispier, but they'd be good to go right now. Um, and then we'll break off, we'll break off a little piece to see if the seasoning's right. And now would be the time to add a little more salt and pepper if we need it. So we'll give them a taste and then we'll go ahead and get them plated up. All right, so we've got our potatoes and they look awesome, nice and crispy and brown. We're going to just cut a little piece off of one to taste. Need just a little more salt and pepper. So make sure that's nice and evenly toasted or uh, dispersed. And then now we will put our potatoes into a bowl. And then we've got our romesco, so that's got roasted red peppers, smoked paprika, almonds, olive oil, and garlic. And we will drizzle that over. Okay, and then we've got the grated pecorino romano. Do a little bit of that over the top. And we are set with our roasted potatoes with Romesco and Pecorino Romano.